peace bell ringing in Newport today. One of the nation's oldest prisoners of war was right there with you. Yeah, that's right. Mr. Johnny Peluso, who's now well into his 90s, was honored on this Veterans Day for his service, and he talked about it with WLWT News host John London before the ceremony. The words commonly used about him colorful, a character, courageous. At 93, Johnny TV Peluso remains feisty yet frail. Before today's ceremony honoring him as one of our oldest World War II POWs, he spoke to us in his modest quarters about service to country, surviving three major battles, and being part of the first wave at Normandy. When the big guns left, I thought the world was coming to an end. Man, they just shook that earth like to no end. Most of his pictured memories have been stolen, but here are a few of him in uniform that remain. Lied about his age to enlist at 17, an army private who was captured by the Germans. Newport honored him on this Veterans Day and heard the concentration camp recollections that he carries with him to this moment. One car was in front of me, a cattle car. They unloaded them and took them in a big black, a big black tank, put them in there and gassed them and threw them in the oven. You could smell their bodies burn. I was all on to say, Jude. Peluso's fierce will to live is matched only by his unyielding defense of freedom. He came home to Newport to sketch out a remarkable career in business and politics. A television repairman, thus the nickname, two terms as mayor. Today, his Purple Heart was celebrated for its overall goodness, the one that beats for others. Whatever you do, if you see a veteran, I said thank him for his service. Do that, because it makes him feel good. <laughs> Giving's better than receiving, Peluso told us today. He said, I just did my share, that's all. Johnny TV Peluso comes from strong stock, one of 19 children. His parents, Giovanni and Antoinette Peluso out of Naples, emigrated through Ellis Island and settled here. Tonight at 6, more from him about what informed his young life. Live at the Peace Bell in Newport, John London, WWT. News 5. A perfect story for today, John, and we thank Mr. Peloso for his service.